So are, are there illnesses that are out there, common illnesses, or maybe not even common, uh, that mimic the flu? Yeah. So uh, COVID is one of them. So anybody presented with an influenza-like illness, which is fever, cough, productive or otherwise, muscle aches, fatigue, um, sore throat, is by definition an ILI, an influenza-like illness. So what viruses fall into that category? There is um, um, uh, COVID. There are these other viruses called paroin para-influenza, which sounds a lot like influenza, but it's a close cousin of influenza. There is a respiratory syncytial virus, also known as RSV. There's all these other coronaviruses. There's rhinovirus, adenovirus. For the general public, they're like, I don't know the difference. Why do I care? But we can test for those. And each of those have different uh, infection prevention strategies, meaning some are more spread human to human than um, others. And so if we hospitalize people, we can take them off of precautions, put them back with other patients rather than private rooms. And so how does the general public distinguish between them all? All of the ones that I've mentioned are milder versions of this illness. And that's why many of us get those. And we don't know that we had them because, oh, oh, here I go again. I have another cold, but it only lasted for a few days and it was mild and I was feeling OK and I could continue to go to work. <clears throat> but the ones that really mimic influenza where you could get quite sick, the ones that have the higher lethality, again, it's been COVID. COVID is the one that's presenting where you have to pay attention to that one because of the way that behaved or has been behaving. It's much better now than it was in the preliminary days of the pandemic. And then um, many veterans may be familiar of uh, Legionella, Legionnaire's disease, um, very well published in the literature. There are these walking pneumonias where people can go about their business and they they feel like they have a virus, but they, they're coughing and they can't breathe as much. Legionella, mycoplasma, atypical pneumonias, there's chlamydia pneumoniae, these sorts of things, we can test for those. Those require antibiotics. And so can a patient tell whether or not there's somebody who's calling their doc and they go, doc, I think I need antibiotics? Um, <clears throat> a lot of times it's a very common question. And the one thing to note is antibiotics don't work for viruses, but they certainly do work for bacteria. And so how does a patient know whether they have a bacterial infection? In general, bacterial infections are nastier than viruses. They get you sicker. Hey folks, connecting with your benefits is our primary mission, and the SITREP is providing more options than ever. Subscribe to our free email newsletter, subscribe to our audio podcast channel, or subscribe to our content on YouTube. For details and links, check out the description below.